Welcome to my project bazaar.com. Yeah, now we let us discuss about the graph theory in computer application. Yeah, now we let us discuss about the abstract of the process. So, first of all, the graph theory is the study of graphs which are mathematical structure used to model pairwise relation between objects. So, a graph in this context is maybe uh, made up of uh, vertices, nodes, or points which are connected by edges, arcs, or lines. So, a graph may be undirected meaning that is, the, there is a no distinction between the two vertices associated with edge, or its edge may be directed from one vertex to the another. So, the graph is for more detailed definitions and for other variation in the types of graphs that are commonly considered. So, graphs are one of the prime objects of study in the district mathematics. So, the shortest path problem is the problem to finding the path between two vertices. So, in graphs such that the sum of the weights of its uh, edges is minimized. So, the problem of finding the shortest path between two intersections on a road map that is uh, may be calculated model by the special case of shortest path the problems in the graph so in this proposed work we have to spare as graph using nodes and weights the graph has been created so it is shown uh, that any tree of two connected graph g is the deepest search that is a dfs tree of one that's two uh, isomorphic graphics so if and only if uh, g is a serial parallel graph where two graphs are said to be a two isomorphic if they have that same set of edges as well as the same set of circuits. So only one separable graphs are considered. So a basic theorem on serial parallel graphs is given and the main theorem or discuss. So the shortest path problem based on the data structure has been one of the hot search uh, results in the topic of graph. So as the basic theory of solving the problem, uh, digestive algorithm has been widely used in the engineering calculation. So aiming the short and coming of traditional digestive algorithm. So this process has been proposed optimization method which has mainly input the node selection of the shortest path and the data storage structure and organization. So finally find the graph as Euler path or not. So and also isomorphism of two graphs of the process. Yeah, now we let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process. So these are the overall flow diagram. First of all, uh, creating a diagraph using nodes. So diagraph is uh, one type of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, there is an inbuilt function. So take a diagraph using the nodes. And then also uh, uh, two types of process is simultaneously running. So in the uh, two types of process simultaneously running. And finally, uh, the find two graphs as isomorphic or not. So in the frame, define the edges, whatever may be. In the graph, it should be calculating the edges, sum of arcs, lines, or like that. So first of all, to define the edges, what are the process? So node 1, 2, node 3, or like that. So that is a define edges. And then depth, first search. So first of all, first search in the depth. How many calculation? The depth. So that is one big search. And then find the Euler path. I already know that uh, Euler path is one type of uh, uh, distance-based calculation. So calculate the, uh, find the Euler path. And then calculate the shortest path between the uh, particular nodes. Uh, if, uh, if I have uh, four nodes, uh, which path only easily to identify the process? So that is uh, calculating the shortest path by using the uh, digit track algorithm of the process. So whatever it may be. So whatever the uh, nodes of the process, the uh, rising, it should be calculating the values. So all the values which should be calculated by using the digit track algorithm, and then uh, it may be, it may be the shortest or. Uh, I like that. So the same process is simultaneously to the another graph. So create a diagraph using nodes, the uh, same process and then defining the edges of the particular nodes and then depth first search. First of all, researching the first depth and then finding the Euler path. So this is a Euler path uh, like that. Uh, what, how many the shortest path to be found at. So whatever it may be, the calculation will be fine uh, by using the register algorithm. Mostly the, using the shortest path calculation, only calculating the register algorithm only. So by using that algorithm, easily to find the uh, calculating the shortest path when which node is the destination so starting with the source node and then destination node which path is easily and shortest path to achieving the target of the process so finding uh, finally the isomorphic so comparing to this graph the uh, graphs are seen that is isomorphic uh, already the, the, there are different graphs means that is a non isomorphic so these are the overall process of the particular program yeah now we let us discuss about the running procedure for the process so click the main file and then uh, run. So it's a time to run the process. So and then run. 
so here we using the graph based algorithm so the nodes how many edges just so biograph object with six nodes and 11 edges so i will created the six nodes okay of the process and then i will uh, find out the 11 edges of the process so first of all already i told that to initialize the nodes so here i will selecting the six nodes and the edges it should be 11 so i will uh, select the edge of the process it should be 11 so this is the process and then the simulation graph it should be simultaneous learning yeah, in this figure there are six nodes. So N1, N2, N3, N4, N5, and N6. So these are the six type of nodes. So the edge will be calculated. So those are all the edges. So N1 to N5, and then uh, like N1 to N6, like that. So N2 to N5. So these are the biograph. So this is the inbuilt function of the process. So weighted. So these are the weighted values for the particular process. So on this next figure. So in this figure N1. So N1 is a source node and N2, N6 or N3 is a destination node. Like that. So all the values must be calculated for the biograph figure 2. So this is the graph 1 and this is 2. And then the next figure. So find the Euler path. So all the figures it should be blue color. So indicating the process how much the process should be run. So in another figure. So I will select at the shortest path between the N1 to N5, N4 and N6. So this is the shortest path between the N1 to N6 of the process. So whatever it may be, calculating weight must be uh, low. So comparing to the other sides of path. So the X figure, this is a, so these are the one type of one view will be discussed. So in the next figure, the same biograph. So it should be discussed. On uh, this figure also, I collect in uh, six nodes, and then the same process will be calculated. So in the next figure, same the same process. So N one is a source node, and N five is a destination node. Compared to this, uh, the Euler uh, find the Euler path between the path. So shortest path. So shortest path I will calculate it, like N one, N three, N five, and N six of the process. So and then finally calculate it. So N one n1 to n5 so n1 n3 n5 so this is the shortest mass between the process so comparing this uh, graph i mean another uh, graph number so i will collect a graph number four and eight so comparing both graph so here the lowest number is i mean calculator so the lowest path is so both graph is non uh, isosomic of the process so calculating the two graphs are not isosomic so these are the overall running procedure for the process